Good morning guys and welcome back to my run. Alright. Alright, so there we go. Google's updating to about 81 degrees. It is crazy humid out today. And we're 56% humidity. Yeah, then I saw lightning when I left, but it was kind of to the west of me and typically storms don't seem to roll in from the west, at least where I'm at, so I was okay and no I didn't see a drop. I did something a little different with my run today, and we'll see here in a moment. All right, three days on a long run. I guess that's good or bad, about the same. Here we go, 16.16 miles, average pace 831 overall. Any achievements? Probably not. Nope, still holding at 52 because of the week I've had. All right, God, I got salt in my eyes. All right, so, real quick, give you an idea. What? Yeah, there's my current heart rate. So that's what I went from. Um, you can kind of tell by the color bands. The first half of my run was moderate. The second half was hard. And I'll go into that in a little bit. And I've got 24,000 steps in for the day. So, time for my shower. And I'll catch up with you later. Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Saturday, week 16, long run day. Well, today should not be even happening the way it happened simply because I should not be here. Actually, I should be here. And yes, this is on my Facebook page and, and uh, nice to know that yes, um, it's kind of going on between what, 9 and 6 a.m. Mountain, Mountain Standard Time. And um, yeah, basically that's gonna be happening here or, yeah, between wait, 9, 9 or September 9th at 6 a.m., my bad. 9, uh, 6 a.m. so that's clearly underway as it is and it's 66 degrees uh, mostly sunny out there nice nice so that's where I should be however due to work and well mostly due to work <laughs> I'm not there um, however um, today I did something different because I wanted to see exactly where I was at and to be honest with you I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna play this up um, it's probably a good thing I wasn't there. I'm, I'm just saying. Um, because, as you guys know, I've, I've had one roller coaster of a ride the last 16 weeks. And so training has been anything but consistent, unfortunately. And while I've had some really good days, I've also had some bad days and a bunch of no days. So that didn't help things much either. But today I went ahead and did something different. And first of all, we're not doing wheatgrass today because after 16 miles, it's chocolate milk day. I'm so downing this. Um, I got back, I filled this, this is my second glass by the way. I filled the first one, threw it in the freezer. And um, went upstairs, showered and, and, and all that. Came downstairs and it was up in the freezer just long enough to kind of get that little the thin coat of ice on top, which makes your chocolate milk even colder. So heavenly. So that's what I'm drinking now, and this is my second glass. And well, quite frankly, after 16 miles of calories, I don't care. Um, but I will say, uh, yes, you know, word to the wise, um, because I, I went into today not knowing 100% what my body was going to be up to. I wanted to, you know, even though I kind of had a week of just some easy runs, just kind of. Um, get you know get to more you know get some mileage up without uh, really you know injuring myself things like that. Um, yes, I'm still dealing with some you know some some pains um, on my on my left a little bit uh, Achilles tendon uh, you know that's most of it you know and and just things I think are just lingering. I don't think it's anything new. I think they're just lingering. But um so you know, so this last week I kind of took it easy for that purpose, hoping that would help it out. It, to some degree, it kind of did, but it probably didn't help my long run effort much. Um, so what I decided to do was, because I wanted to do not only something special for you guys, but I wanted to see for myself, hmm, how close was I? I mean, I mean, how, how well would I have done um, had I been there? Now, granted, 66 degrees compared to what, 81 degrees, big difference. Not to mention the fact that 
my course was relatively flat. Yes, that one's kind of downhill, but still 66 degrees. That's the important thing. Um, and so because I, uh, you know, I, I didn't exactly have a, a solid plan up until pretty much Kind of this morning when I woke up, yes, I spent, I, I got out of the door late because I spent more time, I actually stretched and kind of got my hips warmed up and limbered up and my legs stretched out and things like that. Um, and so I decided, let's go ahead and kind of do a 16 mile fartlek run. And I've done stuff kind of like this in the past where I'd go out on heart rate or pace. Today it was heart rate. And then I'd come back on pace. And, um, and so I decided to give that a try. And so you'll see here, I went out on, here we go, get to the top. Oops, hang on, watch, we'll just refresh that, get our map back in order here. Any time now. Uh, that's, oh, here we go. Oh. I guess patience is the key here. There we go. All right. So, um, Garmin and Google were quite right today. Uh, let's see what they say for humidity. They say 54% humidity. Mm, kind of pretty much right on there. Fine. 16.16 miles. Yeah, you can see I left about a quarter after five this morning. Uh, much later than I wanted to, but again, I wanted to get stretched and warmed up. I spent uh, just about two hours and 17 minutes doing this. Okay, fine. Uh, average pace, 831. Spend 1,829 calories. Uh, yeah, that works out a little high, especially because of the way I came back. So, as I told you guys, I went out on heart rate. And you can see here, went out nice even pace. Then we get the little white gap. That's where I took uh, about a five minute break. I'm going to show you a little bit. Um, I did one goo gel, and quite frankly, uh, because I didn't, because I didn't exactly <laughs> plan this out in advance, and shame on me, um, I should have fueled up better for it. Hands down, not going to deny it. Should have fueled up better for it. Um, had I just decided to go out and run 16 easy miles, I think with what I had on on board, including that goo gel, I think I would have been fine, hands down. Um, however. I didn't do that. So it cost me, but you know, you learn. Um, so then I took my you know, five minute break and then I came back. Now, um, real quick on cadence, uh, yeah, you can see a little tight at the beginning and then I got down to 180. And every now and then um, I'm dropping down even more in stride, so that's fine. And even on the way back, uh, and I'll show you a little bit, started out hot and once I got settled back down, then things kind of, well, actually it looks like things kind of chill out in the 180, 182 range. Anyhow, um, clearly based on what I did, did today, uh, I managed to hit the training effect to 5.0. Uh, as you saw, it cost me three days to recover. All things considered, not too bad, especially when you think, you know, about my seven mile runs are usually about two days or just under two days. So 16 miles, clearly twice as far, one extra day. Not too bad, really, really not too bad. So, look in the silver, and this is gonna get kind of crazy. Now, bear in mind, okay, let's do this. This is this is our break. This is almost a five minute break here. So I go out, I go out on heart rate. You can see pretty easy going on the heart rate. You know, nice 151, pretty steady. Last two miles, uh, actually the last last mile was a little bit dipped down. But for the most part, the heart rate was pretty consistent. I'm, you know, I'm not going to sweat it too much after after not after eight mile eight after eight full miles. I'm really not going to sweat it too much. Um, so I took my break, and then I decide I decide, hmm, let's come back and let's see if I can't run like like a seven or something close to that. And so it was kind of interesting because you go from a dead stop thinking. I spent eight miles getting here at this sluggish pace, and and I apologize if you guys run. If anybody who's watching this, if you're running at 8:30 and that's your kick butt pace, you know, no disrespect to you, but for me, an 8:30 pace is kind of sluggish pace. So, um, 
then I went ahead and tripped my watch and I got going and I'm like, all right, let's see where we're at. And I was really impressed. I was really impressed. You can see here, first mile and popped out at 710, second mile 710. Then I started to feel it hit and I knew I was going to lose it. Uh, 718 for the third and that's when I decided, all right, because the goal was, this was the plan kind of, was let's see because if I go eight miles out, eight miles back. But I know that of the eight miles either direction, um, going back, the first six miles going back, I'd be on the canal, which means car free. And then the last two miles, I'd be on the street. Okay, that's fine. Um, but at least the first six car free, it'd be easier to stay and really hold a set pace without the distraction um, of cars and things like that. So I'm thinking, all right, let's see if I can't hold like this seven minute pace for the first six miles and then do two mile recovery. However, you'll see that didn't exactly pan out. Um, why? To be honest with you, again, I, I, I blame it's the fuel on board because by the end of mile three, uh, I was averaging 174. All right, definitely a threshold run, you know, capped out at 176 at some point. Um, I, I can't tell you for certain what was going on because I had my, my watch switched over to pace now. All this here, it was not my watch was set on heart rate, okay? Uh, this, it was set on pace to try to maintain pace. So I'm like, all right, then I figured, let's see if I can go ahead and I'll do two mile recovery, all right? So do two mile recovery and knock out 8.12. I'm thinking, all right, a little faster than this. However, the heart rate didn't quite recover it decided to stay up there. And again, I think it's because of not so much dehydration, but lack of fuel, honestly. Um, because look at 812 pace, uh, not too far off from this, I should certainly be in the, even in the one, high 150s in theory. But I was 170, okay. So two mile recovery, then I decided to try it again. Let's see if I can do it for just one mile. All right, so I get going, 744. I, I simply wasn't shaving that much. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to impress myself today with this. And so sadly, I didn't even, I thought based on just some physical landmarks, I thought I was going to be about the half mile mark, but I wasn't. But in this aisle, I am at, you know, almost four tenths of a mile at 744. I'm like, all right, we're going to call it. I simply don't have the fuel to keep doing this fartlet stuff back and forth with myself. So um, then I figured, well, all right, let's give myself two more miles of recovery and see if I can knock out a little bit towards the very end. The other, <laughs> the rest of that mile, you know, the balance of it, you know, you figure 3,700 here, 6,800 there. But um, after these two miles, and although I never saw my heart rate, I was just looking at my pace. <clears throat> when I got to what was about my half mile mark, my body, my body was just like, can we just go home? Can we just go home? We're clearly not going to impress you today. We we don't feel like sprinting down the street, you know. We it's not like uh, it's not like you're making us go slow. We're cool with going slow. <laughs> That's kind of like what my body was telling me. So I'm like, all right, no more no more speed work today. So so I kind of rounded off there and over the distance with a roughly this 8:30 pace. Yes, my heart was starting to come back down, but nothing ultra impressive. Um, so that was that. Oh, on calories real quick. Um, yeah, we can see here, you know, what, one, two, three, four. After mile four, then the calories started to creep down a little bit. Okay. And then, of course, I take my break. Fine. And, and this was kind of cool. Of course, you know, first mile out of the gate, less than 100 calories, then it bumps up. And then the third mile bumps up more. Um, this just kind of gets stupid. It's like, wow, 120 calories for an eight minute pace or eight twelve pace. But it, it, even down here, nothing impressive. But that's kind of what it is. And, and I take full responsibility. You know, had training been harder and more consistent, this would have looked a little better. But uh, the good news is my next uh, Mount Lemon race is, oh, I'm sorry I didn't practice this. I think it's what? November 11th, let me check my little calendar here. Um, here. Oh, wrong one. Um, yeah, I believe it's November 11th, uh, if 
my date serves me right. And so, so with that, we figure we have what? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I've got, I've got a good solid eight more weeks. Eight more weeks to really get this in the high gear and make a difference. And because of where things have been going, if we want to do a proper taper um, and and all fingers crossed, <laughs> fingers crossed, I don't injure myself anymore or injure myself any further. Um, with that said, in theory, the next four weeks I, I could really go hard. Uh, yes, long runs will be getting longer because I, you know, I, I definitely have to make the best of this second chance per se. So long runs will be getting longer. Um, my weekly stuff, you know, probably look probably consistent. Um, but we'll kind of play that out by ear and see where things are at because I clearly want to appreciate the second chance per se. And, um, and so again, um, in theory, you know, of the eight, next eight weeks, next four weeks will be a mild mileage buildup. And, um, and then of course my, uh, my, um, intervals and my, um, my tempo work. That will stay consistent as far as I'm not going to, you know, shy of maybe like the last week, um, I'm not going to really worry about reducing those or easing up on those. So those will be consistent. So at least we'll work on that. But it'll be more about getting in the, the, the mileage, the long runs, things like that. So that's that's the plan. That's the plan. Um, let's hope and pray <laughs> the legs play nice and they stop hurting. And we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I mean, at least... Tucson is just like a couple hours from here, so I definitely won't need an airplane for that. Um, yes, I, a hotel would be nice, but worst case scenario, just get up like, <laughs> like way early. <laughs> way early and just drive down there, I mean, if need to. But um, we'll see how it happens. But uh, that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys have yourself a fantastic weekend, and um, I will see you on Tuesday. Until then, have a fantastic weekend and take care. Bye-bye.